meteorologist Dan Tomasso. It was a chilly morning, but I think most of us did avoid frost. But handful of locations, once again, we're in the fray of any frost concerns. Temperatures near 32 degrees. Lloydsville, one of them, down to 30 this morning. Mannheim, 31. Current temperatures rebounding into the low and mid 60s. When the air is this dry, we get a big divide between the morning low and the afternoon high. So we could see big time increases when we have dry air in place. And I love this shot of Millersburg between the flag and all the, everything in blue, the trees, the greenery. It is looking nice there in Upper Dolphin County. Wrightsville, too, right along the river. You can see a little bit more of the river running fast, but also that's the wind picking up. You're starting to see a little more chop on the river, too. In terms of the satellite radar picture, the only noticeable weather over the next couple of hours will be the increase in wind. The clouds will take till this evening and really even tonight to thicken up and will turn mostly cloudy overnight with a chance of showers, but I'll show you how much rain coming up. It is not super impressive. Temperatures in the meantime are on the rise. Middle to upper 60s, York and Lancaster, Lebanon at 63, nearing 70 to the south of us. That's where our air is coming from today. Yesterday, more of a cool air flow coming in from the north and northwest. That returns for tomorrow and Thursday and Friday. So cooler air to end the week, but then we rebound into the weekend. First, the hourly forecast today. I do think we get close to 70 degrees by 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon. And then notice this evening, we stay in the 60s through about 9, 10 o'clock. So very mild evening. And tonight, temperatures will be in the 50s rather than the 30s. So a milder night after a milder day. Now tomorrow, because of clouds and northwest flow, it turns cooler. The shower activity is very limited across this front and it's running into more dry air. So this is not going to be a soaking rain across the region. More just kind of nuisance showers moving on by keeping the air damp. But notice tonight we do turn mostly cloudy. Precision cast showing some scattered showers, not everyone getting shower activity tonight and not everyone getting shower activity tomorrow during the day. It's very hit or miss and Unfortunately, the showers that do come from this front are not going to amount to much more than maybe a tenth of an inch of rain at best. So keep those gardens watered if you are already planting outside. The next chance of rain will arrive by the weekend. This is the long range European model. I just want to show Thursday and Friday are dry, but late Friday into Saturday morning, more clouds. This is the warm front and yes, we will get some showers from it, not heavy rain, but the warm up behind it is significant. We could see several days at or above 80 degrees starting Sunday, leading into Monday and next Tuesday too. Again, some showers will be around James. I don't think it's a major deal on Saturday. Temperatures in the mid 60s, but I think Sunday is going to be extremely nice across the region. If we don't get a ton of sunshine, you will feel the warmth. All right, even though you didn't put those circles on there for me. He's still not sold. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 